one more question on this. Try to get it right now, all of you. Here is the question. This question comes with the diagram. So first draw the diagram. Draw this.
Okay. Let's say that the angle is theta. Angle is theta. Okay. So total velocity along x direction is how much? This is this is how much V M R is how much? Five. So five cos theta plus one in x direction velocity. We need to add the two velocities. So I can add their x component velocity and I can add their y component velocity. X component velocity for the person who is swimming is five cos theta plus the river velocity along that direction, which is one. 5 cos theta plus 1 is a total velocity along x direction. Understood? Now, total velocity along y direction is how much? 5 sin theta. Okay? Here, now, I know displacement along y axis and x axis. Time taken should be same. Okay? So, time taken, if I consider y axis, is 400 distance divided by velocity by 5 sin theta this should be equal to 400 divided by 5 cos theta plus 1 understood this time taken to go for a displacement of 400 in this direction is same as displacement in that end. then only you reach there Getting it? All of you? Now, I am getting a trigonometric equation to solve. <laughs> 400, 400 gone. So, I am getting 5 cos theta plus 1 is equal to 5 sin theta. So, I can have uh, 5 times cos theta minus sin theta plus 1 is equal to 0. So, cos theta minus sin theta is equal to minus 1 by 5. Here is the graph. So, it is wrong here. Then square it. If you square it, you will get cos square theta plus sin square theta then minus of 2 sin theta cos theta is equal to 1 by 25. So, sine of 2 theta is 1 minus 1 by 25. So, that is 24 by 25, not 26 by 25. So, 2 theta is sine inverse of like half of it. Even if you are getting this equation, that, that's all I want right now. So, have you, have you under, understood at least till here? <coughs> understood? All you need to do is break down the motion into two. Motion in the x-axis, motion along the y-axis. Find out the, you, well, when I am saying that you can add the velocity of the river onto the velocity of the person, you can add along x-axis separately, along y-axis separately. That's the best part about vectors x-axis doesn't influence the y-axis. That you have studied when we discuss vectors. Okay, so we are going to continue from where we left. That was motion in 2D. In motion in 2D, what we did last class, you remember? River, river boat problems and we have also uh, done the rain. Rain and the man problem we have done or not? A person is running and all that. No. Okay, let's start from there. Okay. I'll start with the question itself. Suppose this is a velocity of rain. Rain is falling vertically down with velocity P. Okay. Ignore gravity. Okay, ignore gravity. The, well, the rain is falling with constant velocity. And there is this person who is holding the umbrella. Alright? So this person is moving with velocity u. Alright? You need to find out at what angle 
the person should should tilt the umbrella so that the person does not get the rain water. Okay? Find out at what angle the person should hold the umbrella. Okay, one person has got the answer, others. Please write down one statement that the relative velocity, relative velocity Relative velocity is is the velocity. Relative velocity is the velocity which observer feels. Getting it? The whatever observer observes or whatever observer feels is the relative velocity. What does it mean is that although rain is falling vertically down like that. But observer will not feel this velocity. What observer will feel? Observer will feel the relative velocity. Which is what? V minus U. Right? You need to subtract the observer's velocity. Yes or no? So, this is the range velocity. That is the observer's velocity U. Now, if I have to do V minus U, this is U. So, this is minus U. So this is the direction of range velocity with respect to the observer. This is what observer will feel. Getting it? Even though the rain is falling vertically. Because observer is feeling the relative velocity. Alright? So I have asked you to find out this angle tan of theta. Now this is 90 degree. So clearly tan of theta is magnitude of the person velocity divided by B. Simple. Head out. Okay. Like this, there can be many rain and the person problem. Okay. So I could say that the person is running in an inclined plane. Okay. I can say, for example, this one. If the person is going along the incline with velocity u, okay, and this is the Vertically down is the velocity of rain. Can you quickly draw the relative velocity of the rain with respect to the man? Simply, every time you need to subtract the observer's velocity. If you say this angle, you say that angle. Have you drawn the diagram? This is V. This is U. Where is minus u? Minus u is the opposite of u. So this is your minus u. So v minus u is this. Okay? Right? The problem is there is no right angle triangle, visible right angle triangle. Okay? So you can draw a line like this. This angle is theta. Okay? So this is 91 is theta. And then you can uh, right. this is the V minus C magnitude of V minus. So like that you can see that every time whenever you have to find the relative velocity, you are essentially subtracting the observer's velocity. Alright? And you remember that triangle problem? The actual path of the particle is like that curve. But how observer is seeing it? When we have done this problem, right? The particle were moving like this. Yes or no? But this, this observer, let's say this is point B, how it is seeing point A? As if it is going in a straight line. Fine? So, the actual velocity could be different, actual displacement could be different, actual distance could be different in terms of relative. Fine? So, only time is something which is same. Time is not relative. 
whatever time this point A has taken to go from here to here, same time point A will take to go from there to there, as in the, in the relative term. This point is seeing this point as if it is going like this. This is the relative velocity of A. This is the absolute velocity of A. Like that. We have done this problem. Okay? Anyways, so this was one uh, small part which we have left last class. Okay?